let's make some blast gates real quick. So R for rectangle from the origin and let's go up 6 comma 6 enter that's a 6 inch by a 6 inch piece of 3 eighths of an inch plywood P for push pull and let's pull it 3 eighths of an inch enter spacebar triple click G for component enter let's drop some material on there just to give it a color and there's our plywood now the centerpiece is going to be the gate and it's going to come from that same six inch piece of plywood so R for rectangle and let's go down here and let's see the first dimension is my width so let's go with five eighths of an inch comma enter and all that did was modify my first dimension five eighths of an inch P for push pull let's pull this out three eighths of an inch enter spacebar triple click G for component enter and it is plywood but I'm gonna drop a different color on it M for move control brings up copy from one side all the way over here to the other side actually let me line these up better there we go now I'm removing I'm going to cut this section and cut this section out of a six inch piece of plywood so I'm removing one eighth of an inch for the saw curve on both of these so if I R for rectangle and draw my rectangle on the side of this face P for push pull and I'll pull it all the way over to here but remember I'm removing one eighth of an inch one eighth of an inch that equals one quarter of an inch so if I select this face right here and push it back 0.25 inches enter spacebar triple click G for component enter that is a more accurate representation of the material that will be left and another color just like so I want the gate to be centered so M for move and I'm going to grab it at the midpoint and holding shift to constrain to the red axis I'm going to reference off the midpoint of this piece back here so now I know that that is perfectly centered M for move and let's grab this corner and move it in let's grab this corner and move it in now that's the gate part and the two guides on either side let's grab one of these Q for rotate and somewhere right around here let's just drop another one like so M for move and let's grab it from this midpoint and drop it off right there so now this piece will be sliding up and down as acting as the gate on one side we need to draw a piece of pipe and on the other side we need to draw a piece of coupling so we need to find the center point and C for circle if I just hold my mouse over the midpoint it says midpoint in component hold my mouse over the midpoint over here and now it'll snap to the intersection of both midpoints which is the midpoint of this rectangle now the pipe has a diameter of four and one quarter of an inch so let's say 2.125 for the radius F for offset and let's make the thickness of the pipe 1 16th of an inch it doesn't really matter at this point let's click the inside delete that area P for push pull and let's pull this out two inches enter spacebar triple click G for component enter now we used pipe on the end on this side so we took our diameter and went to the inside of it On this side we need to use a piece of coupling so we're going to take our diameter and go to the outside see for circle and let's grab this midpoint again let's grab this midpoint and let's connect them and let's go with a radius of 2.125 again and this is a coupling so the interior is 2.125 so F for offset and we're gonna to go to the outside this time and 1 16th of an inch is just fine for reference spacebar select the inside delete it P for push pull and let's pull this out two inches enter spacebar triple click G for component enter now we have all of our components here minus the handle uh, but the reason why we're using pipe on one side and a coupling on the other side or half of a coupling I should say is this will allow us to stick the pipe end inside any one of the four inch PVC fittings so anytime you have a fitting you can add a coupling and then stick the pipe on the inside over here 
Now let's cut our holes out, but remember that these two pieces are copies, so let's just right click on one of them and say, you, uh, and say make unique, you are no longer a copy. Let's edit this part, and C for circle, I don't know if it will allow me to snap, yeah it did, there we go. Snap to the inside of the circle, and P for push pull, let's push this in, three eighths of an inch, enter, space bar, and click outside of a part. Let's do the same thing on this one. It is unique now, so you cannot say make unique because the copy was unique. Let's double click to edit this part. C for circle, and let's go from this edge. See if it'll let me snap to the center, which it does. And go back to it. P for push pull, and let's push this in. 3 eighths of an inch, enter. Now I have a hole cut on the side over here, hole cut on this side over here, and just the blast gate in the middle, as you can see. So the blast gate needs a handle. Let's move this up uh, one quarter of an inch, and let's just go ahead and draw a handle. Let's go with R for rectangle from here to here. P for push pull. This is 3 eighths of an inch. So if I go, I don't know, just that's fine right there. And let's go up 0.5 inches. So 0.5 plus 1 quarter is 3 quarter of an inch material. R for rectangle from this corner back here up to here, which basically just established this bottom line. P for push pull. Let's pull this out to this face. R for rectangle from here, I'm drawing on the bottom of this, down to here, and P for push pull, let's push push or pull this down like so, space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. This is a piece of three quarter inch stock with a little dado in it to accept this center gate. Let's put a little bit of color on it and select this center piece, holding shift to select this other piece. G for component, enter, and now these, uh, the handle and the gate are one piece. M for move, and they will move together just like you would operate them in real life. So let's just drop it right there. Now the only way to glue this on to here that I found is to use some construction adhesive and just to make this look a little bit more lifelike, a little more realistic, let's just go ahead and draw that. So alpha line from here, let's go up the green axis and let's just go 0.75 inches, enter. Alpha line from where we started, let's go along the red axis, 0.5 inches, enter. A for arc from here to here and we'll just give it a nice little shape like that. So that's the path and I want to, I want to follow that path along I'm sorry, that's the profile, and I want to follow that profile along a path. So let me really quick alpha line from this side over to this side, see if a circle, and draw a circle in model space. Let's click this line to delete it, click this area to delete it, and I still have this circle and model space. So I selected the circle, follow me, and this is what I want to follow me. So if I was to put a bead of construction adhesive all the way around the edges, and then smooth it out with my finger, that's what it would look like. And construction adhesive, there we go. Same thing with the other side real quick, just to make this a little bit more lifelike. So 0.5 inches, enter, and that was wrong. Alpha line from here along the red axis, 0.5 inches, enter, and there we go. Along this end point, alpha line, let's go up on the green axis, 0.75 inches, enter. A for arc from here to here, and just right there looks good. L for line from here to here, C for circle from the midpoint to right there. Let's select the line, let's select this area, delete both of them, and finally select the remaining circle. That is my path, follow me. What do I want to follow along that path? I want this to follow along it. Let's go back to my materials and drop that on. 
So that is the realistic looking blast gate for four inch PVC pipe. You've got a piece of pipe on one side that will fit inside of a fitting. You have a coupling or half of a coupling on the other side to allow pipe to fit in between. And you have a gate that will slide up and down to open and close airflow. And that's exactly what I'm going to be making. But anyway, I hope you found this helpful and you guys have a great day.